Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I will show you how to embed Stimulsoft forms into your NEC core application. Open your ID. I will be using Visual Studio for this tutorial. Click on the Create a New Project button. Choose ASP.NET Core Empty App Item and click Next. Change the project name, project location and solution name, then click Next. Select a framework version. In our example, let's set it to .NET Core 3.1. Click the Create button. Call the context menu of your project and select Manage NuGet Packages. Choose the Browse tab and search for the stimulsoft.form.web package. Select the desired version and click Install. Now Stimulsoft Forms has been successfully added to your project. Open the Startup CS file for editing. Define the controller services. Define additional methods for the application. Set endpoints for this application. Save the changes and close this file. Now you need to add a form controller to this application. Start by creating a controllers folder. Next, add a controller file to the newly created folder. In this example, add an MVC controller empty and name it forms controller. Now we need to set the project controller. Define the action method and configure it to process form actions. Let's implement it using a try catch statement. Save the changes and close the file. Open the terminal and navigate to the project folder. Install the Steamform Designer package. Verify that the package has been successfully added to the project. Choose the rename command and specify client app as the new name for this project. First, we need to define the necessary dependencies in the package.json file. Save the changes. Additionally, we need to specify the required styles in the angular.json file. Adjust the size of the maximum error budget. Save the changes. Open the app module ts file and import the necessary modules. Define the import path and list them in the imports array. Save the changes. Open the app component ts file. First, import the Stimulsoft form service. Set the parameters for the Stimulsoft component. Set the request URL parameter to the forms controller URL. You can now find this URL in the launch settings JSON file. The form parameter should be a Steve form object to use. Additionally, you can start define style properties as parameters. Set the constructor of the app component class using the Stimulsoft form service. Open the index.html file and define style properties for body and HTML tags. Save the changes. Open the terminal and navigate to the client app folder. Install the packages using the command npm iForce. Run the build command. After the build process, a dist folder will be created containing the necessary files. 
add a www root folder to this project. Copy the files from the dist folder to the www root folder. Run the project. Now you can use Stimulsoft Designer to create forms. Thank you for watching this video. We value your feedback, so please feel free to leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.